enjoy puzzles and woodcrafting, then I have a couple games I would like to show you. These games are called Equal Bricks. These are three games in a series in which each game has the same familiar flower playboard made up of artificial leather. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the first two in the series. In the first game in the series is a game about connecting your pieces. This game will play either two or three players. Each player will be given their own color of wooden pieces with three different types of shapes. Players then will take the largest pieces known as the base and place them around the border of the flower circle like this. This is a setup for a two player game but this is what a third player game would look like. Now setup can be different as long as they are parallel from one another. Setup can be done in a bunch of different ways. This is just one example. This is another example. Now how to play. Players are going to take turns rolling these two dice and based off the dice rolls this is how players are going to place out their pieces on the game board. The goal of the game is to connect all your bases with one another. The pieces can only go in the designated slots on the game board and they connect through the center of the flower. Now that might seem easy but this game does have a little bit of take that to it because you can actually eliminate some of your opponent's pieces off the game board. If you can match any of these formations shown here, as soon as you place your wooden piece down, this would help you remove one of your opponent's pieces off the game board. In a three player game, you can use an opponent's pieces with your own to eliminate another player's piece off the board. It will look something like this. To me, this actually feels and plays a lot like chess in the sense that you're trying to connect all your pieces from one end to the board to the other while trying to eliminate your opponent's pieces as well. It plays really fast and simple and it even comes with its own travel bag which is really nice because you can take this game on the go. Now in the second game I have here, this actually has a bunch of different modes that you can play and based off this wooden triangle piece you can choose what mode that you like. The setup for a basic game is as follows. All the pieces will be placed around in a circle and then the triangle wooden piece will be placed by the first player and then they must choose between one of the four pieces ahead of the triangle. Once they choose a piece, they then replace that spot with the wooden triangle. The next player can choose between one of those four pieces. Once you chose your first piece, you then can place it anywhere on the game board. But be careful because your next piece must always connect to the previous be played wooden piece. You can place your first piece wherever you want on the game board, but going forward you must connect your pieces through the center of the flower on the game board. As an example, one of the games that you can play is everyone's going to be taking turns playing down pieces on the game board and as soon as somebody can't lay down a piece, they lose the game. Now every game mode that you can play in the combat version has one rule that you have to follow. Whenever you're placing your color pieces down, you must always make sure there's no more than five holes between both your pieces when you connect them and line them up on the game board. Another game mode that you can choose is by closing off sections of the board to score points. In every section that you can close off between your pieces, you score that many points. But be careful because if you make a section too big, your opponent may cut in and steal your points. Here's an example of how that one would look. Now based off what game mode you choose, like I mentioned, this would determine on how you want to play your tiles. I really enjoy the version where whoever can't play a tile loses the game because this involves a lot more planning and thinking of ahead of what tiles you want to take because you're always thinking what piece your opponent's going to take and if it's going to screw you over in the end. And that is only two versions of the game that I have here. There's actually a third version that I'll leave you guys to discover on your own if you are interested in it on the Kickstarter page that I have linked down below. The Kickstarter is live right now so if it looks fun to you check it out. I really enjoy how this is easy to store and travel with and I feel like it'd be a good fit for most families. If this is something that you want to support, again I'll have the Kickstarter link down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.